This is probably the most famous example. Biden leans uncomfortably close to a 13-year-old girl, whispers something in her ear, then tries to kiss her as she instinctively jerks away. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you guys. Now, this one actually made the news at the time. They said the 13-year-old girl, Margaret Coons, didn't think what Biden said or did was creepy. Except she didn't say anything. It was her father, Senator Christopher Coons, who claims she said that. I reached out to Margaret Coons to clarify whether or not she thought it was creepy and to ask her what Biden said. I received no response. The official story is that Biden was reassuring the girl that his own daughter was 13 when he was sworn in and not to be nervous about being in front of cameras. Except that in all the years Biden was sworn in as senator, his daughter was never at the age of 13. But I'm sure that that's all completely normal. In this clip, Biden appears to grope the chest area of a little girl. The close-up shows her visibly pull away right as it happens. But I'm sure that's completely normal. Biden seems to have a thing for touching, smelling, and stroking girls' hair, as seen in this clip. But I'm sure that's completely normal. In this clip, Biden strokes the girl's hair before whispering something in her ear. <laughs> he then asks for a picture with the girl alone. Can I go on with Jess alone? Oh. <laughs> Senator Jim Risch then says, Dad's going to stand pretty close. <laughs> Dad's going to stand pretty close. <laughs> Biden appears to tell the girl, quote, if I was young. By the way, if I was young, and I had my kids partners. But I'm sure that's all completely normal. In this clip, Biden kisses a young girl three times as she squirms uncomfortably while he says, Don't tell anybody. Title. Yes. <laughs> He's in title. This is a long day. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> but I'm sure that's completely normal. In this clip, Biden tells a girl, quote, no serious guys until you're 31, which is one of his favorite things to say to children. Lucky man. <laughs> Lucky man. He's having fun. Thank you, sir. <laughs> no serious guys until you're 31. He then poses with the girl for a photo while putting his hand around her midriff. and then whispers something into her ear. <laughs> but I'm sure that's completely normal. In this clip, Biden asks another of his favorite questions, how old the child is. Come on over here. Good to see you, Molly. How old are you, honey? I'm 12. Before weirdly stroking the face of her younger sister. Grandpa, one of those guys. That's nice of you. No, I'm not saying it. He knows I do. The mother seems keen to leave quickly, but I'm sure that's all completely normal. In this clip, Biden again tells a young girl, no dating until you're 30, before putting his hand near her breast. Do you remember what I told you last time I saw you? Do you remember what I told you? Smile. No, not smile. No <laughs> date till you're 30. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm sure that's completely normal. Here's an entire montage of Biden telling girls, quote, no dates until you're 30. Mr. How old are you? My sister, Just remember, no dates till you're 30. <laughs> you're turning 11. You're beautiful. Just remember, no dates till you're 30. Just remember, 30 years old. No dates till 30. Hey, Mia, how old are you? Just remember, no dates till you're 30 years old. What's this child's name? This is my goddaughter. 
Just remember, no dates to your 30s. Just remember, no dates to your 30s. Get over here by me, okay? Oh, you girls are beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Just remember, no, no, no guys to your 30. Come on, look at our girls. Both of you, slide in. And girls, remember, no dates to your 30 years old. <laughs> <laughs> but again, I'm sure that's completely normal. In this clip, a young girl catches Biden's attention. He then asks the six-year-old girl if she's 17. Beautiful child. How old are you, 17? Oh, six. He then begins stroking the girl's face before her mother draws attention to the cameras. Do you have what do you camera? think about all those cameras? Biden then strokes the girl's hair again and tells her... You guessed it. No dates or boys to your 30 years old. <laughs> he then strokes her hair and kisses her again. He then grabs on her face and hair again. But I'm sure that's completely normal. In this clip where Biden is meeting three teenage girls, he trots out his favorite line. Three teenage. I want to know if you have a big, big concertina. Oh, I got a concertina wire. <laughs> All right, good. You need it. <laughs> Just remember, no serious guys in the That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's one girl then calls out for her dad. Okay, okay. there we go. Well, let's get the senator in here. <laughs> dad. And appears in a rush to leave the room. But I'm sure that was completely normal. This clip, Biden again asks a girl aged around eight if she's 15. Okay. He then whispers something in their ears once again. The same thing happens again in this clip where he asks an 11 year old girl if she's 17. And how are you, 17? <laughs> You're Before the obligatory hair sniffing and whispering. <laughs> but I'm sure that's completely normal. <laughs> Why don't you kiss me? Thank you. I don't have a doubt about it. <laughs> How are you? God love you. I know you say you're one man sport. Thank you all for your patience. Bring the whole family up. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Good to see you. Sally, how are you? You got a smile that lights up the whole Senate chamber. Good to see you. You're getting too old. You're getting too old and too lovely. What are you seeing? This is my daughter in law. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Hi, Jack. You have very good taste. Good to see you, man. You have very good taste. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. You've got very good taste. Thank you, Father. It's a pleasure to meet you. I have very good taste. <laughs> Come on, this going to hurt your reputation, man. <laughs> You're going to have to go home and explain. What would I do with that Democrat? Kids, come on over here, okay? You ready? Thank you so much. Now, you getting in this picture? Come over this side. Okay. Come on over this side. Okay? Come on, sis. You get okay, right in the middle with me. You go right over here. Over this. Mom, you go right in the middle. Come on, Dad. Okay, here you go. Good. How old are you? Uh, 28. 28. God, 26. 26. Come on, thank you. I thought they were still in school. <laughs> Too many beautiful girls in school. You got one job. My father used to say, for real, keeps your boys away from your sister. That's the job. Just remember, no serious guys in your 30s. Is this your sister? Yeah. You have a hard job. You got to keep the boys away from your sister. That's a deal. Hey, Jasper, you're going to have a hard job keeping the boys away from your sister. <laughs> like you had a beautiful sister, you keep the boys away from your sister. That's the job. My dad used to say, one job. Guys away from sister. My dad used to say, you got one job. I have a beautiful sister like you guys. I swear to God, he used to say, you have one job.
good to see you, man. How are you? You know you're my boy. You know that, right? All right. Okay. Can I have a picture with just the kids? Absolutely. Forget okay. the adults. Uh, come on. You get right in there. Come on. When I die, I want to be reborn in Charleston. <laughs> 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 I thought you were in the Lakeo all right now. Well, yeah, I, I, I get to go down almost once a year. This oh. is my mother, Joanna. Mom, I want to know what you're drinking. <laughs> God, look, you look like your sister. Jesus, <laughs> God. I'm serious. Vice President of the United yeah. States of America. For a couple more days. It's okay. You hang on to that. And girls, be Great. patient. Fathers are hard to raise. They are. Just, just be patient. That's my daughter told me. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, I tell you what. You ready? All right, ready? Oh, I got it. All right, Dave. Do you want to do a goofy one? <laughs> you sound like my daughter. Get in here. <laughs> Gotta get us all in. Wow. Thanks so much. Thank I'm you so much. I'm going to leave that Bible here. Thank you. <laughs> she tried to take it. Right. No, I ask you all one favor. What? Tell them in 14 days, no longer vice president. Tell them. So all right, John. Y'all already know it's Black Balloon, but look, it's not much to say, you know, after watching those clips, it's not much to say about this guy. It's not much to say about Trump either, you know, but this isn't a video, you know, to even compare the two, but more so just to expose that neither one is really fit for president. Especially not this one. So this is the guy we're choosing to focus on today. You know, clearly in these clips, you can go ahead and confidently call him Pato Joe. Um, clearly the guy has, you know, something going on. Like uh, very, you know, perverted, touchy-feely, sexual kind of dude. I mean, clearly, he's groping all over the little girls. He's grabbing them by their waist. And, yes, he's doing it to grown women as well, which makes it even more, you know, nasty because he's that confident to do it to, you know, a 45-year-old woman, you know, just as much as he would do it to a little 13-year-old girl, you know, because it, it, it would take a lot of confidence I, you know, of course, it takes a lot of confidence to do it to a little girl, but, you know, pedos and shit, they, they try to kind of disguise it, you know, but to do it toward a grown, grown woman is like a different kind of confidence because she clearly knows what you're doing. You know, a lot of the times, you know, young girls, you know, they could take it for something of you being friendly, you know, when really in your mind, you got those evil, nasty sexual intentions behind it which clearly this guy has, you know. Um, so, like I said, it's not much, it's not even much to say about the video. The video is um, it's, it's proof in the pudding itself. It does all the talking that I really need to do, you know. Um, and obviously we know about Trump and his involvement with the entire Jeffrey Epstein thing and uh, going to the island and, you know, a couple pictures of him with young girls as well. So, we notice is a um a giant ring that you know kind of has no limits and it seems like he you know it seems like he definitely embraces his status and um he knows how much power he has you know it just you could you could kind of see it with him you know groping all over the women it's like he just don't give a damn you know, he know ain't shit gonna happen to him from, you know, him even doing this, even though he's had two women, like, kind of publicly speak against, you know, feeling violated by him, you know, but we can only imagine the shit that he's done behind closed doors, you know, this is just the shit that he's confidently enough, um, he's confident enough to do on camera, you know, uh, but anyway, you know, um, no further explanation needed, you know, y'all know me, never afraid to post this kind of content, because regardless of what's going on, this shit needs to be seen, truth at all costs, you know, and I, I really gotta stand by that, so, you know, y'all know I'm coming back with more video.